Hi there, I am Sheldon. I am a senior architect at CA Technologies, and I manage the Forward, Incorporated account. Forward, Incorporated is a banking organization. They use CA's SiteMinder to protect their IT applications. As part of our ongoing commitment to customer success, we regularly release updated versions of our products. We are pleased to announce the release of 12.51 version of CA's SiteMinder. Forward, Incorporated, is under a valid maintenance contract. They are entitled to, at no additional charge. The use of the 12.51 version of the software for five federated partnerships, five protected web services, and unlimited UCA of the release 12.51 secure proxy server. New features and benefits delivered in the 12.51 release include support for OAuth 2.0 as a SiteMinder authentication scheme for frictionless single sign-on from social media sites, such as Facebook and Google. Agentless SSO through the use of open format cookies. Browser-based SSO to Microsoft Office 365 via WS Federation 1.2. Expansion of standardized internationalization. REST and SOAP-based web service interfaces to CA's SiteMinder authentication and authorization services provide increased flexibility. These interfaces allow remote applications to easily make calls to CA's SiteMinder. Integrated installation of policy server and an administrative UI for Web SSO, Identity Federation, and Web Services Security. In the following demonstration, we will show you how to upgrade from version 12.5 to version 12.51 of CA's SiteMinder. There are three steps in the upgrade process. First, you will upgrade the policy server. Then, you will upgrade the web agent. And finally, you will upgrade the CA's SiteMinder administrative UI. Please note, the policy store in CA's SiteMinder release 12.5 and CA's SiteMinder release 12.51 have the same schema. You do not need to upgrade the policy store. If you are upgrading from CA's SiteMinder release 6 to CA's SiteMinder release 12.51, you will have to upgrade the policy store. Let us see how the upgrade is done. The first step in the CA's SiteMinder upgrade, from release 12.5 to release 12.51, is to upgrade the policy server. Before we begin the upgrade, we need to stop the server. To stop the policy server, launch the policy server management console. On the policy server management console, click Stop. To stop the OneView Monitor service, click the Stop button. To continue, click Update. And then click OK. We have stopped the policy server. Now, we are ready to upgrade the policy server. To upgrade, we need to launch the Install Media for CA's SiteMinder version 12.51. For the purpose of this demonstration, we have copied the Install Media to our local system. Let us browse to the location of the install media. We have browsed to the policy server 12.51 installer. To continue, right click on the installer file and select run as administrator. Install wizard for the CA SiteMinder policy server is displayed. To continue, click next. The license agreement dialog box is displayed. Read the agreement. To continue, accept the terms of the license agreement, and then click Next. Select the Java folder location. For the purpose of this demonstration, we will keep the default location. To continue, click Next. The policy server 12.50 is already installed. You are prompted to confirm an upgrade to 12.51. To confirm, click OK. The FIPS mode settings message is displayed. To continue, click OK. In the Choose Feature section, you can choose ETH features you would like to configure. For the purpose of this demonstration, we will keep the default features. Click Next. Choose the password services, and then, click Next. Review the pre-configuration summary. Then, click Install. 
After the policy server is installed on the specified location, you should restart the system to complete the installation. To restart the system, select Yes, Restart My System. Then, click Done. We have upgraded the policy server. To verify, let us check the version of the policy server in the SMPS logs. Browse to the SMPS log in the SiteMinder folder, and open the file. Notice that the log files display version 12.51 of the policy server. We have upgraded the policy server. In the next step we will upgrade the web agent. To upgrade the web agent, we will first stop the internet services, then we will install the web agent version 12.51, and finally, we will restart the internet services. To stop the internet services, at the command prompt, type IIS, reset stop. The internet services are stopped. We are now ready to upgrade the web agent. Navigate to the location of the web agent 12.51 installer in your system. We have browsed to the location of the web agent 12.51 on our system. To begin the installation, click the installer file. The install anywhere dialog box is displayed and prepares your system for the install. After your system is ready for the installation, the CA SiteMinder install wizard is displayed. To continue, click Next. Read the license agreement. To continue, you need to accept the terms of the license agreement. After you have accepted the terms, click Next. The Confirm Upgrade dialog box is displayed. To confirm the upgrade, select Continue with the upgrade, and then click the Next button. Review the pre-installation summary. To begin the installation, click Install. The installation process is initiated. You can also configure the web agent during this installation. You can choose to configure the web agent during the installation or later. For the purpose of this demonstration, we will configure the web agent later. To continue, select No. I would like to configure the agent later. Then, click Next. The installation is complete. You should restart the system to complete the installation. To continue, select, Yes, Restart My System, and then, click Done. After the system restarts, you need to start the Internet services. At the command prompt, type IIS Reset. Internet services are restarted. We have successfully upgraded the web agent. In the next step, we will upgrade the SiteMinder administrative UI. Now that we have upgraded the policy server and the web agent, let us upgrade the SiteMinder administrative UI or interface. To upgrade the SiteMinder administrative UI, we will stop the SiteMinder admin secret of UI services. Then, we will install the SiteMinder admin secret of UI prerequisites. And finally we will install the SiteMinder Admin Secured of UI 12.51. If you launch the SiteMinder Admin Secured of UI, you will notice the error message on the home page. The current version of the SiteMinder Administrative UI mismatches with the upgraded version of the policy server. Before you begin the SiteMinder Administrative UI upgrade, log out of the SiteMinder Administrative UI. The first step in the SiteMinder Administrative UI upgrade process is to stop the Administrative UI services. To stop these services launch services.msc. On the Services window, locate the SiteMinder Administrative UI service. Select the service and then click Stop. The SiteMinder Administrative service is stopped. Now that we have stopped the SiteMinder Administrative UI service, let us begin the upgrade process. To continue, browse to the CA SiteMinder Administrative UI 12.51 installers in your system. We have browsed to the location of the SiteMinder Administrative UI 12.51 installer on our system. In the Admin UI 12.51 folder, you will see the installers for the Admin UI prerequisites and the installer for the Admin UI version 12.51. Before we upgrade the admin UI, we need to install and upgrade the prerequisites. To continue, select the admin UI prerequisites installer. The install anywhere program is launched 
and prepares you system for the install. The administrative UI prerequisite installer dialog box is displayed. To continue, click next. Review the license agreement. You need to accept the terms of the agreement. To continue, accept the terms. Then, click next. The administrative UI prerequisite installer upgrade confirm message is displayed. To confirm the upgrade, click upgrade. To continue, click next. In the supply installation parameters dialog box, specify the host name and port number. Then, click install. You will be prompted to confirm if you want to overwrite the existing files. To continue, click yes to all. The administrative UI prerequisite installer is installed. To continue, click done. After the prerequisites installation is completed, the installation of the SiteMinder admin section of UI begins automatically. To continue, with the installation of the SiteMinder administrative UI, click next. Read the license agreement. And, to continue, accept it. Click next. Review the pre-installation summary, and click install. The installation is complete, and the CA SiteMinder administrative UI is successfully upgraded. To exit the installer, click done. To verify the upgrade, launch the administrative UI. The error message that we noticed before upgrading the UI is not visible anymore. To verify the UI version, click About. The SiteMinder administrative UI version is 12.51. We have successfully upgraded CA SiteMinder from version 12.5 to 12.51. To do that, first, we upgraded the policy server. Then, we upgraded the web agent, and finally, we upgraded the SiteMinder administrative user interface. Thank you for watching this video. For more information, please visit www.ca.com education.